Hi everyone and welcome to today's video. Today we are going to be testing out the new Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. This is a brand new product here in the US. They have a version of this in the UK. However, I believe the UK version is different than this one in that the UK version is kind of like a gel that you apply onto your brow and it's supposed to tint the skin and then you peel off the gel after it dries. This one is not like that at all. This is supposed to be a brow gel that you apply onto the brows and after you apply this product onto the brow it's supposed to not smudge, not smear, and stay put for up to a couple of days. This product retails for $12.99 so $13 US dollars at the drugstore. You get 0.23 fluid ounces worth of product in here, has a shelf life of six months, and it comes in four different shades. It comes in blonde, soft brown, medium brown, and deep brown. I grabbed the shade medium brown to try out today. The box that it comes in includes the product and also a little spoolie just so that you're able to brush through your brow hairs as you're applying this. I'm assuming to make it look a little bit more natural and not as concentrated on the brow. The description of this product straight from the website states that it is a waterproof eyebrow gel that is supposed to create fuller looking definition that lasts for days. It also states that it is ultra resistant, it does not transfer, it is smudge proof. 98% of the people that tested this product saw fuller and thicker brows, 93 saw gel does not transfer, and 88 would recommend to a friend. So we'll see if I can recommend it to my friends after I try this out today. As far as how to use this product, it has four different steps. Step one, use the sculpting tip to fill mid brow and tail moving outward. So I'm supposed to start here and then just move this way with the tip of the applicator. Step two, lightly fill in inner brow. So you're supposed to do here at that point. Step three, blend it using the grooming spoolie. So after you're done filling it in, you're supposed to be able to blend with this guy. And step four, allow time to dry. So it seems pretty simple, pretty straightforward. As you can see though, I do have a brows on. I have a brow pencil on the brows right now. So I'm simply going to jump off camera, remove the brow product that I currently have on, and then I will be right back in order to test this guy out. Okay, so now I'm back, nothing on the brows, and we can get started. It does look a little weird having makeup everywhere else but your brows, so we're gonna fix that here shortly. So opening this product up, the applicator, I don't know. Okay, so here is what the applicator looks like. Um, the tip of this is pretty wide, so I'm not really sure how I'm going to work with it. Uh, yeah, I don't know if I'm going to use this applicator. Okay, so I'm gonna attempt to start doing it with the applicator and then if it becomes a little too complicated, I am going to switch over to an angled brow brush. Um, but we're gonna start off with this. It says to start the mid brow. See, the issue that I think I'm going to have is that I do have sparse areas and I don't want this to look too thick so it's definitely darkening it using the tip working from the midsection to the tail of the brow see but this is where I'm gonna have an issue because oh maybe not maybe not so much I just like the tail of my brow to come to an actual like point and this is not really allowing me to do that. It's a little bit round here at the end. Not like that, don't like that. Okay, you know what? I am going to, I'm gonna use the spoolie now. It just feels really heavy right now. I don't like that at all. Okay, like once you do spoolie through the brow, it lessens the intensity, so I can work with that. However, I don't like that it's kind of not giving me the most sharp edge here. The applicator, like I said, it's just too thick. So I think I am going to switch over to a brush. Just gonna pick some of that product up and apply it using the brush instead. Just to be a little bit more precise here around 
these areas. Okay, yeah, I like the way that it's applying with a brush better. And you don't have to build the color intensity up much. Okay, let's continue. Now I'm gonna work on the front. And I'm applying it the same way that I would like my Anastasia pomade, just starting at the bottom and then just kind of blending the product upward. Usually I like to keep this a little bit more arched, but the big applicator kind of prevented me from being able to do that. So I'm just going to ignore that for now. I do have areas down here that are missing brow hairs just completely and I always have to fill them in in order to make my brows appear fuller. This product went on those areas without an issue. I didn't really have to do too much in order to build the color up um, at all. I think maybe I applied a couple of layers if that. So now that I'm done with that, I'm just going to brush over the whole brow. I like that it's a brow gel. It feels kind of tacky. So you're able to kind of mess with your hairs a little bit and situate them where you want. So if you want your brow to look really messy, you can just move your hairs going upward. If you want it to be more groomed, you can definitely brush them in the same direction that they grow in order for them to look a little bit more groomed. Now I'm going to do the other brow, but I'm simply going to use the brush. I'm not going to use the applicator for the other side. I want to see how it compares um, and whether or not the applicator really helps. I don't think that it does. I think if anything, if you have thinner brows, it's just going to make a little bit of a mess and it's going to be a little bit harder for you to apply this product. Um, but if you have thicker brows, that might work just fine. Okay, so use it with a brush. The applicator is complete crap. <laughs> I, I do not like the way that this brow looks and I feel like it has a lot to do with the applicator itself because it deposits so much product all at once. It makes it super difficult to really be able to spoolie through everything and make it look more natural. And I say natural because Makeup's not natural, so it's not like you're really gonna get natural brows from this product, but if you use the brush, like look at the difference. This one just looks softer, it looks a lot better. This one just it looks a little bit more intense and I don't prefer it. I don't prefer it with the applicator, but with a brush, it applies super nicely, it applies very, very easily. You have a lot more control of where you're placing the product, a product application. You just have so much more control using a brow brush as opposed to the applicator that it comes with. You just, I just use it with a brow brush. So now I'm gonna wait a few minutes and then come back, do the smudge test and I'm also going to just rub it with water. Another thing that I'm going to do is, as of right now, I'm going to apply some of this onto my wrist here. I'm gonna let it dry, and then I'm going to test it with my makeup remover. For me, I don't think that this product is going to be like a multiple days worth of wear product, um, simply because of the makeup remover that I use. Pretty sure that if I use it on this, it's probably going to rub off, but you never know, it might surprise me. If it doesn't, then this will definitely be something that will last on the brows for a few days, for maybe like one or two. If it does, then it definitely is a one day wear for me personally because of my makeup removers. So now I'm simply just going to jump off camera, wait for everything to dry, and then I will be back in order to test this brow gel a little bit more. 
Okay, so now I am back. It has been about like a good seven minutes or so. It's definitely dried down here. So I'm assuming that it's definitely dry along the brows. Now I'm gonna do the smudge test. I don't have anything on my fingers and I'm going to just rub. Oh yeah, didn't come off. Everything's still looking good, at least on this side. Everything's still looking good on, on this side. Um, this brow, I don't really like the way that it came out because of the applicator, but whatever. So now we're gonna test it with some water and the only way that I thought to do it was to just grab water on my fingers and then try to rub it off like that. No, it's not coming off. Like nothing is coming off of the brow, except for maybe my foundation. Okay, so the last test for me is going to be the makeup remover because this is what I'm currently using now. It is the Clinique Take the Day Off. It's a balm, but it does feel like oil once you apply it onto your face and you just start massaging all of your makeup away. It like melts it off. I don't think that this can withstand this. Like this takes anything and everything off. So if it doesn't, that's fine but that just means that it won't last me for days. But if it does, then it might last me for days. So I'm gonna just take a little bit of the balm and oh my gosh, it's like not taking it off. Well, actually it is a little bit, but I really have to rub. Maybe it will last me a few days. I like really have to rub to even get this to come off a little bit. Now it's coming off. But I had to rub for quite some time. So yeah, maybe it will last me a couple of days, like the day that I apply it and maybe a little bit the day thereafter. But I am one that doesn't necessarily like to keep any makeup on my face. So that might not be happening. However, I really like this product. I like it a lot. I like the fact that it doesn't make my brows appear too, well, how about like this? I like the fact that it doesn't make my brows appear too, too heavy. Like I have a whole lot of product on them. I like the fact that it does look light and it doesn't rub off. It doesn't come off. It doesn't smudge. It doesn't budge. It's just, it stayed on it stayed on even though I rubbed it with water with my finger I've tried to take it off now it's come off completely but I had to really rub at it in order for it to come off with my makeup remover like my current go-to makeup remover that removes everything waterproof off of my face Overall, I like this product. I like it a lot. I feel like I'm going to get a lot of use out of it, especially when the humid months start here in South Carolina. A lot of the time during those months, I don't like to wear makeup, but I do like to wear some sort of brow product, a little bit of mascara, lip gloss, call it good. Now I know that with this one, I'm good, I'm ready, I'm set for the day because it's not going to smear off or sweat off. I'm not gonna be worrying about rubbing my face and have everything come off of my brows. So that is definitely a plus. I like the fact that it looks very soft and not as intense, um, especially when you use it with a brow brush. I have used a semi-permanent brow product in the past because I do have very light brows and I have a lot of sparse areas. I figured that, you know, I'd give the Wonder Brow a try. That was the product that I used and I didn't like the way that it looked when I applied multiple layers, which it says that you can do. When you apply multiple layers like I did here, I did the same thing with that brow product and I didn't like it with that one because it felt heavy, it looked heavy, especially up close, it looked like glue, like glue was dried on my brow. Um, this one, I don't feel like it looks that way at all. Obviously, it doesn't look natural, it's still makeup, but it doesn't look heavy, it doesn't feel heavy, it feels very comfortable, and yeah, I really, I like it. So that is all that I have on this this new Maybelline Tattoo Studio Brow Gel. Thank you all so much for watching. I truly hope that you enjoyed this video review and that you found it helpful. Don't forget to subscribe so that you don't miss out on future reviews or beauty related videos. And also don't forget to follow me on all of my other social media platforms. I am All Beauty by Sarah with an H on Instagram and All Beauty by Sarah without the H on Snapchat and Twitter. Take care and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.